a fantastic festival now more than two decades old is coming back to the historic downtown of Madisonville, the Texas Mushroom Festival back this weekend and here to tell us all about it. We've got Camila Viator, the chair of the event. Camila, thank you so much for being with us today. Ah, thanks for having me. I tried so hard to work in a fun guy reference. I couldn't do it. Um, I was reading about the humble beginnings of the festival in 2002. Uh, there was one tent, one entertainer. 10 t-shirts uh, and a few vendor booths and technically the event was rained out, right? That's it was. What yeah. Uh, so from that day in 2002 to now, uh, what's changed? A lot. <laughs> a lot. Um, the number of people that have come, you know, is, is in the thousands now. Yeah. But we have what we call the Taste of Texas tent, which is where you can come in and taste Texas wines, Texas beers, and listen to some Texas entertainment as well. That sounds really fun. It is a lot of fun. And then, you know, we're very family friendly, so we have new this year the Portobello Park, which is just lots of bounce houses and games for children to be able to um, experience and get to do, and then get a wristband and play, you know, all the during the times of the festival, but they have to have an adult with them. Yeah. There'll be other um, rides on the south side of 21 as well, so we're gonna be all spread out. There are over 100 vendors that'll be there, so if somebody wants to get an early start on Christmas, this is the place to do it. That's a great idea, yes. yeah. Yes, and so we'll be unveiling our T-shirt. Everybody seems to get really excited about what our T-shirt's gonna be every year, and so those are hot off the press, and so if you wanna make sure you get yours, order them online. Oh, fantastic. So we just got in a car show and a shiitake run. Yeah, uh, we can talk about those in a little bit, but before we get to that, uh, it's called the Texas Mushroom Festival. Yes. Um, if you're like me, mushrooms, not really my thing, uh, I can still show up to this, right? Right. <laughs> you know, a lot of times we get criticized that we're not enough mushroom. Okay. But there is plenty of food vendors and um, that will either have mushrooms in their recipes or not in their recipes. And to my knowledge, wine and beer doesn't really have a mushroom in it, maybe. Sure. But, um, <laughs> but there'll be mushroom jewelry and, you know. A lot of things like our 5K run is called the shiitake run. Yes, so. yeah. Uh, let's talk about the, that, that run, the Portobello Park, as you mentioned. Um, uh, that's all. People can sign up for that uh, by going to the website you see there on your screen, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, text TXMushFest.com. That's where you can sign up for the 5K. Um, and the Portobello Park, you can get the wristband there, correct? Right. Um, and you mentioned the, the taste of Texas. I think that's going to be a huge hit for you guys. That is. And then Monterey Mushroom comes out and does their mushroom fajitas every year. Oh. And they are sold out usually by two, two, three. And I say sold out, but they give them away for free. Oh. And then you can buy mushrooms from them because that's what the Mushroom Festival is all about. Oh, that's very good. Uh, you get you have the, the car show as well. That's mm -hmm. uh, going to be a fun fun thing. Admission to the event is free, but there are some of those things that you do need to sign up for and right. pay for ahead of time, correct? Well, you don't have to pay. You can get the tickets there the okay. day of, but you can also do it ahead of time. All right, very good. We'll have all this information posted up on kbtx.com. Sounds like it's going to be a great time. It is this Saturday from 10? 10 to 5. Perfect. All right. Camilla Viator, thank you so much for being with us today. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh,